to discover what it means to be an American, sometimes you have to get out on the road. That's where you'll find Fort Bragg communities of Cumberland County, North Carolina, a place that since the 18th century has lived and died for everything it means to be an American. We've collected all those important moments and mapped every historical site and point of interest along the way. We call it the Spirit of America Trails. Here's one of our 11 trails, the Patriots Past and Present Trail, the Spirit of Liberty. Since the 18th century, the Patriots here in Cumberland County have defended our nation's liberty in every conflict, starting from the American Revolutionary War, through World Wars I and II, through Iraq and Afghanistan. We remember them all by name. Our first location, North Carolina Veterans Park. We're standing in a North Carolina Veterans Park. It is dedicated to all the servicemen and servicewomen who have ever fought in our wars for the protection of our nation and our state. The hands of this wall represents 100 men and women who have joined the military, either the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard. They represent our oath of allegiance that we say when we join the military. We're staying inside the visitor center of the North Carolina Veterans Park. Behind me is a chandelier made out of dog tags. In fact, it's 33,500 dog tags. It represents all the men and women who have served in the military from the state of North Carolina. We also have on display a set of dog tags representing every service member from North Carolina who have died in combat since World War II. Each dog tag on our, our wall has the name of an individual who has died in combat, a, a person that was from North Carolina, and we honor them with this wall. Next up on the trail, Pfeiffer's Grave. We're on the parade grounds of the Fayetteville Light Infantry, and we are at the marker of the grave site for Isaac Hammond. Isaac Hammond was a young boy who wanted to fight for the cause of liberty for America, and so he wanted to become a part of the militia. He was a fifer, and for almost 30 years, he participated in the activities on these grounds, and upon his death, he wished to be buried here, and they did that because he wanted to continue to hear the light music playing, and also he wanted to be able to hear the marching of the soldiers as they rehearse on these grounds. Next, the 82nd Airborne Division War Memorial Museum. Well, welcome to the 82nd Airborne Division War Memorial Museum. You're here to learn about our patriots from the past, or our All-Americans as we call them. This museum tells us stories of those great All-Americans from 1917 all the way to today. You can see greats like Sergeant York of World War I who captured 114 Germans almost single-handedly. Here at the museum, you actually can see the uniform that he wore and his helmet. Here at the 82nd Museum, we tell the story of our Iraq veterans as well. And here we have Kimberly Hampton, one of our captains, and she was the first female soldier to die in the history of the 82nd Airborne Division. She was a Kiowa warrior pilot flying a small helicopter over an Iraqi engagement. 